All right, guys, welcome to week seven. I'm talking about change of direction now. Um, like I mentioned in the text, uh, for me, change of direction is really just how can we get um, you know from point A to point B the quickest? So how can we get in those proper positions, which then we can accelerate and get into that acceleration mechanics, which we already worked on as quick as possible, right? So if I can, get, if I can turn and in one step be in that acceleration mechanics, then I should have already won compared to somebody that might have to take a false step or take multiple steps to get to that same position, right? So we gotta really think about how we can get from point A to point B the quickest, um, whether that's going forward to backwards deceleration, whether that's drop steps, crossover steps, um, just lateral cuts, all those kind of things you need to be able to build off each other. Um, we do a lot of the lateral cuts and the crossovers and drop steps. Um, for the deceleration going forward to straight back, you know, if I had um, a position uh, possibly like an outfielder or somebody like a cornerback or something that's going to maybe do some backpedaling. Um, I might do a little bit more of that where they're coming forward, planting, and then having to go back. Um, I do a lot of that with uh, late stage rehab people as well with ACL just to kind of get some confidence back. But generally, it's going to be stuff uh, like I'm going to show here. So getting that base of support, feet outside the hips. Okay. Um, I like to feel, like I said, those edges. So if you ever skied before, you're, you're kind of like on the edge of the skis in one way or the other, or if you ever ice skied it. Uh, so the edges are going to be inside edge, outside edge. So I'll get people here and I'll just shift them. So they're on this outside edge, this inside edge, and they're going back and forth. So getting used to that side to side. From there, we can kind of think about doing some of those lateral movements, right? So those lateral cuts. I'm going to pick up this foot, push, I'm going to push off this leg, go that direction. I'm pushing off that inside edge. So the inside edge is pushing me that direction. And then I can push back on that inside edge on that left foot again. So again, inside edge, inside edge. Okay, now, same thing um, with the crossovers. So same basic support position. I'm now thinking outside edge of this foot. So if I'm going that direction, this knee is driving up. This is when we're thinking karaoke, and I'm driving off that outside edge of that back leg. So that right leg, or for me, that right leg, that's gonna help break that momentum and get me going that way. This back leg is where a lot of that strength and power continues for me to go to that position. So. Again, for most sports, if I'm going that direction, I'm trying to cut across that direction. I'm taking this into an acceleration, which again, I'm trying to get off the screen here, into an acceleration mechanics where those knees are going up and then I'm cycling through the acceleration stuff that we already talked about. Um, so that's kind of the big stuff we do. Um, if I can, I'll do that uh, with a group in a big open setting. If they're ever having problems with that posture, just like the rest of the stuff, if they're rounding over or they can't really get to those positions, right? Then we can work on that kind of stuff with the wall where we're thinking about driving up an outside foot, crossing over, driving off that outside edge of that right foot, right? Or we're doing those cuts where I'm thinking about driving off that inside edge of that left foot and I'm cutting back this way, loading back up. So again, depends on the population you're working with, depends on um, you know where they're at in their, in their cycles of uh, training and um, kind of what their, uh, what their sport is, what, what they need from that. So try to break that down a little bit, think about it, um, and just again, focus on how can we get from point A to point B without any kind of false steps. So again, we'll see people that'll do, when they're trying to go that direction, instead of just pushing and going, their first step is back here and then trying to go, okay? So they're going the wrong direction before they're going to that right direction versus just starting that momentum into the direction you already wanna go. So um, again, play around with that, have fun with those, um, and then, See you next week.